Hi, Redheaded Riding Hood here, red for short. I'm gonna do tomorrow's day celebration, which is, um, it's my son's birthday. Happy birthday, Teddy. Um, this is called The Dead Speak. In the great 11th chapter, the writer of the letter to the Hebrews says of Abel, he being dead, yet speaketh. That is true of many another. Hebrews 11, 4. For many of us, it is true that though our parents are dead, they still speak. For many of us, it is true, this is true for me, to this day that many years after their death, our parents are still the greatest influence in our lives. Unconsciously, it may be we still apply to life and its decisions, the standards and the principles they taught us. Unconsciously, it may be we still seek their approval in the things we do. God grant us to pass on to our children the heritage our parents passed on to us. If it, if it, was, if it was good. Um, I try to take the good things that my parents did do and you know even my dad was narcissistic he always went to church and he had faith and you know he didn't act the best all the time he didn't live it the best all the time my mom did better she was codependent but um you know so like a people pleaser and um she was a great cook though and she loved god and so yeah this is true Many a teacher being dead still speaks, yet speaks. That is obviously true of a university teacher who may deeply impress his students with his own thought and who may even found a school of teaching which will last long after he is gone. But it is also true that the humblest teacher in the humblest school lives on in his or her pupils. A good teacher is always immortal in someone's life. I remember some good teachers I had in grammar school. And I feel like William Barclay is living on because I'm reading his devotional every day. He passed in 1978. So William Barclay, who wrote this daily celebration, was a Scottish theologian and a professor at Glasgow University. And he was a Christian universalist who believed that Jesus will save everybody. There's still a judgment, but Jesus will save everybody and there's no eternal conscious torment, which the first Christians didn't even believe in. It came about long after the first Christians. It came about with the councils and stuff like 400 years after Christ. So that's who William Buckley was. So many a time a friend being dead still yet speaks. The influence of a great friendship is not terminated by death. When Charles Kingsley was asked the secret of the winsome purity of his own life, his answer was thinking of <coughs> F.D. Maurice. I had a friend. The influence of a great friend is something which overpasses death. Many a preacher being dead still speaks. And that is, like I said, William Barclay. No preacher ever knows what he is doing, nor does he ever know where his word is going or how far it is reaching. <laughs> like he, William Barclay probably never thought that a woman in 2024 would be reading his book every day on YouTube, you know? He probably never thought that. But many, although they have never, have, they may never have told him so, owe their lives to the faithful preaching of some faithful preacher and man of God or woman of God, um, like, um, I say um, all the time that Joyce Meyer had a great effect on my life. I've been listening to her for, uh, let's see how old is my oldest son? He's 33, like, you know, 35 years or so. You know, I've been listening to her a long time. Um, when she, she was on the radio on the Joy FM in Atlanta, Georgia, when I lived in Warner Robins, and I could just pick up that station and when I, when we moved from Florida up to 
um, Georgia in 1988, I would sit and nurse my my baby Sarah. She, my, our oldest was was two at that time, in the chair, and I would watch I would watch soap operas all day, and the Joy FM Christian radio, and and people like Chuck Swindoll, Charles Stanley, Joyce Meyer and Christian music, Christian radio, the Joy FM out of Atlanta, got me off of soap operas back in 1988, 1989, when we moved to Georgia. So that was a good thing. <laughs> that was a good thing. <coughs> so every, and okay, the man of God whom the world at large has never heard and many in the hour of temptation remember the words that they heard. Every man leaves something of himself in the world. Every man being dead yet speaketh. God grant that when we leave this world, we shall leave something which is still speaking for Jesus Christ. That's a good one. I really like that one. Um, and I did a poem. I did a poem like that. I will do the poem too, um, but I'll do it in a separate video. Don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.